we think that we are a wholly superior people. If we'd been anything like as superior as we think we are, we would not have fought that war. But since we did fight it, we have to make it the greatest war of all times. And our generals were the greatest generals of all time. It's very American to do that. Well, hey folks, research here again. We're going to take a look at the bonus mission. If we go over to the missions list here, you're going to see it's not here. There's the fall of Vicksburg, the last shooting mission that we did. It isn't here. Why would it be? Nope. You got yourself a brand new bonus menu right over here. So you click on this, and this is where you get to look at all the pictures and things that you've picked up along the way. And then there's the bonus level. I don't know why this has a difficulty level. So listen up carefully. Very close to Vicksburg, and you know our job is to weaken their defenses from the river. Pick our targets, bomb them back to Richmond, and at night, we'll enjoy soldiers' life back at camp. As you can see, we have a few new recruits in our crew. We're chosen by General Grant himself to help us send hot lead to the Rebs, and then we'll sail right up their harbor, and then have our boys go to work. That's it. Make the old man Everybody get ready. City in sight, sir. That sounded an awful lot like Bender Rodriguez for a second there. Anyway, here we go again. Here's our bonus level. Another one of these ironclad levels. You know, as I look out the porthole here, I see a couple of things that bother me. Uh, the biggest of which being this is not nearly thick enough to be the wall of an ironclad warship. Those things were between 20 and 50 inches thick, uh, alternating layers of oak and iron and cotton and all sorts of interesting things. In fact, uh, a number of the ironclads ended up being some of the first experiments in composite armor. The, uh, the USS Kao Cook, uh, very early double turret monitor, uh, was... Um, uh, was alternating layers of, uh, of iron, wood, and cotton. And the idea there was that uh, the cotton would absorb the impact. Now, it didn't work. They didn't have a very good idea, a very good understanding of the appropriate thicknesses of each of those things. By adding in all of the cotton, they dropped the amount of iron plating on the outside, and that just didn't work out very well at all. I don't have the tech specs pulled up for me on this one, but uh, as I recall, the K.O. Cook was hit over 90 times before it finally sank. And uh, apparently it was pretty well perforated by the end. If you look at this gun right here, this type of cannon where it's pretty narrow at the front and then swells out to the great big bell at the end, at least uh, you, you saw it more clearly in the cutscene. In fact, it might not even be the same model. Uh, but that kind of gun, you see it a lot in the old Civil War photographs. It's called a Dahlgren gun as the powder charges were becoming bigger and bigger there in the war. Uh, they were really afraid of the guns exploding. Uh, and some of those guns were just massive, uh, firing very, very large shells. So uh, they uh, they just started making them thicker and thicker, and uh, thicker in the most important part, which was the back end, of course. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, but uh, they were around the combustion chamber. Had to make it pretty big. Now, if you look at the, uh, at the gun here, it says 1858. So that may predate the Dahlgren guns. I don't quite recall. Anyway, this, this is our bonus mission here. Uh, it looks an awful lot like the other mission. Now, this is another mission taking place during the Battle of Vicksburg, or during the Siege of Vicksburg, I should say. And don't get me wrong, the Siege of Vicksburg was extremely important in the American Civil War. In fact, I would hazard to say that it was more important than Gettysburg. But um, you're not really getting a sense of that in this level. Uh-oh, look at this. Five seconds left. Four, three, two. Oh, I've blown it. I did it. Nope. Any kind of indicator, anything to help me tell where these shots are falling would be great. Uh, I, I think of the... The Gears of War thing, where you, where when you pull out a grenade and it shows you a little hazy dotted line showing the arc of where the grenade will go, something like that would be helpful here. Or maybe if they left some sort of trail. 
in the air, but I'm probably asking for too much. Anyway, you can see the uh, the design of the guns back there if you can see through the subtitles. There's our three character models. There's Bender again. Wait until you can see the first targets. Everybody get ready. I'm not a game designer. I'm not a level designer. I don't know a whole lot about this sort of thing, but if I were to hazard a guess, I would say that probably what happened here was this was meant to be another level in the game, maybe taking place before the most recent one here. And people realized that either it was too similar to the USS Pittsburgh level, or maybe that it just wasn't very interesting compared to the other action, but maybe the level was done at that point, and rather than ripping it out entirely, they just decided to uh, turn it into a bonus level. That decision was probably made fairly early on because the uh, this level does not have an intro video. It's the only one that doesn't. I'm, I'm just spitballing here. I don't know what happened. But, uh, but that seems like something that certainly could happen. I mean, you know, this is a budget title. They didn't have a huge budget. Uh, and if you've watched any of my Trespasser videos, you know exactly what happens when a company over promises and under delivers. Uh, maybe these guys ran out of money, ran out of time, ran out of both. The, uh, the games industry is an extremely stressful industry, and I, I don't envy the, uh, the difficulty of those positions. And I have a lot of respect for the people who put themselves through that to give us the opportunity uh, to try something new here. Well, guys, we're wrapping up. There's not a whole lot left. This is the last level of the game. I must say... It's been kind of fun coming back. The YouTube game has changed a lot since 2008. When I first made Trespasser, you could only upload a 10-minute video to YouTube and look at how far we have come. So, I think I might do another one. If you have any ideas for a game to play, why don't you, why don't you say it in the comments there? I'll entertain all ideas. In the end, I'll play a game that I want to play, but I am curious to hear any ideas that you've got. I, uh, this two-week gap between now and the last level is because I got a little hung up on, uh, on Assassin's Creed 4. I really have a, such a soft spot for any game that features ships, especially old sailing ships, and my goodness, they did a good job on that one. I think they kind of hit the nail on the head when people say that Assassin's Creed 4 is not a very good Assassin's Creed game, but it is a great pirate ship game, and uh, I, I certainly agree with that. Uh, in any case, I'm eyeballing a couple of different game ideas, and I'm, uh, I'm happy to hear what all of you have to say, but I'm not going to play Crimson Skies. Did you hear right there? He said Hogger. He called me Hogger. I think this is the only time uh, in the game that uh, you've played the same character in two different levels. Uh, you, you were Hogger in one of the other uh, Union levels taking place in a city. I think the one where... Um, where General Grant briefs you right at the beginning, though uh, someone corrected me and said that was actually supposed to be General Sherman. That was not a very good model for General Sherman then because he looked exactly like General Grant. But then one of the other soldiers called him the old man, and people called General Sherman the old man, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know at this point. All right. History Channel sponsored Civil War Secret Missions by Cauldron. Is this a good game? Well, it's an okay game. It's not a bad game, not at all, but you get what you pay for. This is a budget title. It's simple, but it doesn't claim to be anything else. And in these days of these steam green light fiascos and uh, you know, music uh, creators going insane, uh, well, this is, uh, this is a good time to to look at a, a simple game and know exactly what you are getting. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of Civil War Secret Missions. Thanks for coming along with me on this one. It's been nice to be back, and if you don't mind, I think I'll 
maybe hang around for a little bit. So happy to hear what you have to say in the comments. And uh, until next time, I'll leave the light on for you.